Greetings all, Fanny here for Gemini's Weekend Message. Gemini, the first card that... Oh, okay. Actually, two cards came out for you. The Three of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse. Betrayal, hurt, heartache that has led to mental scars. And maybe an inability to trust. Because... I mean, I understand. Like... When you open up to people and you expose the most raw and visceral parts of yourself and betrayal happens, it makes you afraid to open up ever again. But as I have learned through my life, people are assholes. They really are. But... Not everyone is going to be like that. The lover's card came out for you. And the lover's card does not have to mean romantic relationship. The root of the lover's card is passion. And a mistrust and upset with the world can make you afraid to share your passion with the world. To share what makes you, the amazing Gemini that you are, uniquely and powerfully you. Your authenticity is a gift, despite what other people have said. Don't let those words weigh over you like a Damocles, dictating what you can and cannot do with your life because someone a long time ago was saying you were doing something stupid. Honey, people have said I did stupid shit my entire life. And I'll admit that I have done some stupid shit. But I also know that if I was meant to be enjoyed and accepted by everyone, I wouldn't have gone through the things that made me who I am. And who I am is someone that I'm very proud of at this point in my healing journey. And I want you to have... I want you to have a similar love for yourself. Like, all nine of those cups is your passion and love and enjoyment for who you are. Absolute emotional fulfillment. And when you shine bright like that, when you stand in your power like that, you attract someone. You have the two of diamonds in reverse. Balancing energies, balancing your time, obligations, and where you share yourself with people is important. With the Three of Swords, not everyone deserves to see everything about you. And that's where the balancing comes in. Dictating who gets that kind of access to you. Who gets to share in that most radiant and luminous part of your soul. And I'm not saying you have to completely shut yourself off to everyone. But allow. You're being asked to allow... You're being asked to open up your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up again. Exactly what I was about to start saying with, like, don't shut yourself off from the world. Your walls of protection can prevent development. And I'm saying this as someone who has gone through that. Someone who has put so many walls around herself in the past. I prevented myself from growing at all because I didn't want to go through the uncomfortableness of it. But the uncomfortableness is a part of life. And what you choose to do with it and how you choose to balance your energy. You have pivot, presence, and patience. Pivoting and shifting the direction in your life and not in a way where you're just getting the couch stuck in the stairwell. Ross. Be present in your everyday life. Be present in your everyday moments. In the here and now. Not so much in the depression of the past and the anxiety of the future. 
be right here right now even if it's just reminding yourself by like the things that you see around you in your environment like my vision board my canopy my fairy lights my computer these are things that i can use to remind myself where i'm at when my head starts to spiral and i lose my footing you have patience it will not happen overnight happiness fulfillment of dreams development it takes time because it is a developing process. You are a developing being. Who you are now will not be who you are when you achieve happiness, when you achieve your emotional, financial stability. Because you have to go through shifts. You have to go through changes in identity, in direction. That's why you have the pivot card. Allow yourself and be open to where the universe wants to take you, where your higher self is guiding you. Because we only have a fraction of the knowledge here in this realm. And we can do things to gain more with tarot, with divination, with meditation. There are ways to learn more about our path. There are ways to learn more about our destiny and what we are supposed to be doing here. But we have to allow ourselves and sitting in hurt and betrayal and guardedness is not going to allow anything to come in because you are literally telling the universe, I do not want energy. I do not want that interaction. Loosen up. I'm not saying let everything down and let the entire world see you. I'm saying be wise. In the words that you're using about your protections and slowly start shifting yourself to become more bright to become more luminous one cup at a time share yourself with individuals with people even if it's just getting on a platform like this where you can just talk to a camera send it out there and maybe find someone who resonates with you it's a lot easier when you take away the fear of it that's the only thing that could stop you, my love. But you're stronger than that. And you are absolutely deserving and worthy of your greatest and highest happiness. Have a beautiful day, Gemini.